So I wanted to give some people some context of uh, what exactly they're looking at when they're watching some of my videos. So my home layout is very basic. Um, <clears throat> it's all temporary. It can all be ripped up and put away at any given moment. Um, but this is what I got for now. I'm only going to be showing uh, what is on the non-corrugated cardboard here. Um, but yeah. Just gonna give you a little bit of context of uh, what we're looking at. So, the layout itself is two separate loops, sort of. <laughs> the two loops are different, but they got these crossovers here. And these crossovers are just big enough. See two of those, uh, two of those shorties in there. The crossover is just big enough for amphleets to get through, and pretty much all of my longer cars. Whether that be amplitudes, other passenger cars, uh, wood chip hoppers, etc., etc., they can all make these turnouts here. <clears throat> As you can see, it is all easy track. Um, both the nickel, silver, and the steel. I have, as long as you keep the steel track clean, I honestly haven't had any issues with it. Um, over here. Got a uh, little bit of a siding there. That's just for me to put something like for a while a keystone was parked in here. I think a keystone was parked in here for the uh, video I just uploaded before this one. Um, that steam engine is fully dumbified. It does not run. <clears throat> at all it doesn't draw any power or anything so it could be put onto a dcc layout and be pushed around um but yeah so for now it's just kind of there <clears throat> here we have our we have a generic sunnyvale station or whatever it's just the station i had um and it's just sitting there in between the two tracks to service both tracks if you will coming over here we got the connection for the siding there is another station elsewhere it is actually from my original thomas set as a kid as you can see wellsworth station right there <clears throat> and that just sits over here on the other side of the inside loop Right next to some industry tracks. I won't be showing those because it's on carpet and it's embarrassing, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Come over here to the town. Uh, I just have random Amtrak Dash 8 freight train for no apparent reason at all. <clears throat> it's just what's on there right now. Here we can see. The uh, NCE uh, base plate, what you want to call it. All I have is a power cab. I'm trying to figure out if I want to get a Smart Booster 5 and hope that's enough, or if I want to switch to Digitrax and get a digital command station and a DB150. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'll figure that out at some point. Um, But yeah. Here's the town. These are just the buildings that I have, uh, quite frankly. So, <clears throat> they're just there laid about. This engine jet, it's too short for the trains to clear with the easy track, so in it, <laughs> I have a, I'm doing quotes here, a NASCAR hauler and two 187 scale. NASCAR diecast in there. 40 and 42 of Chip Ganassi. Uh, so yeah, that's what's in there. There's a little Easter egg for me. Got, this is, I can't remember, a bank or something? Something like that. Got a little shack there. <clears throat> Got a house. Another shack. Some sort of business. Mm, house being built barn house thing i don't know <clears throat> but yeah that's that 
That's all that. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Got some other things to show you before I go. So, give me one moment. So, not too long ago on eBay, <clears throat> a, uh, what I thought was an original, uh, undecorated cap car kit, comic cap car kit, uh, popped up and I bought it almost immediately. <clears throat> um, however, as I have since realized, it used to be septa. It's been painted. Um, so this thing at some point is going to get stripped and uh, it will become a New Jersey Transit cab car. Kind of like, or it'll get a similar treatment to my septa cab car over yonder. I know it shouldn't be sitting there, but like I'm, I'm, I'm out of room on these shelves. I tell you, I, ignore the empty spaces. The engines are on the layout. Um, but yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm running out of room. That space is for the end plates that are currently on the layout. <clears throat> anyway, eventually it'll get the same treatment as septic cab car. So it'll get, you know, the horn. It'll get the light kit. Etc. Etc. I want to detail, decal it NJT at some point. I'm not good at decals. We'll see how that goes. Um, but for now, it's probably gonna stay like this, undecorated and such. And I'm probably just gonna use it as a comet um, until I can get enough comets to fill out the train. And I got like a horizon to comet conversion type of thing. They're not fully accurate, but hey, it's close enough. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is here now. And uh, and then, ooh, I am a loud and proud NASCAR fan uh, as much as this new Gen 7 car may suck. <clears throat> I found this guy at Timonium, paid five bucks for it, and... Uh, I wanted to put it in my mainline freight in my mainline freight fleet, so uh, it it happened. <laughs> um, it got metal wheels. For the metal wheels, when it comes to putting them on these trucks, I think the ones I have found that work the best is the Bachman thirty three inch, and I think it's the Eve models, Eve model thirty three inch wheels. <clears throat> Those work fantastic with these lifelike Tyco uh, trucks here. And then I also just happen to have silver coupler pockets um, to go with silver trucks. And of course, as you can see, I cut off the Taugo coupler mounting for the, uh, for the truck. So get the truck, cut that tab off. Uh, tapped in, don't know if you can see the screw here, drilled a little hole with my hand drill, this thing is great, um, little hole with the hand drill, tap a screw in there, and then screw down your, uh, cover pocket. I usually tend to glue them, to be completely honest with you, with the KD boxes, um, Plastic tabs seem plastic tabs seem to hold on enough for it to be a non-issue if you do it that way. Um, but this one I tapped it because why not? <clears throat> and yeah, this thing rolls great, and uh, very happy to have it on the track. Good wrench racing. It's even got it's even got some of that on there. Built in the built in forty nine. Same year as, oh, you know what? <laughs> 1949. I think that's an Easter egg because I'm pretty sure NASCAR started in 49. It's funny. Um, but yeah, that's what we got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, tell me in the comments what you think about all of this. I will see you all next time.